Today is part two of the classic game room review of Red Faction. Everyone grab a beer. Haha, <laughs> Parker. So you made it past my little guard. Welcome to my zoo, Parker. Feel free to pet the animals. They won't bite. Gotta get those brakes checked. I meant to stop and not run these people over. Hey, this thing's got a CD player in it. Let's see what the Ultor troops listen to. I don't deserve to die! You can run, but you can't escape the disco. Oh, and then you gotta clean out all the blood and guts from the transaxle. Do you recognize any old friends? I don't actually know what a transaxle is. I, that was an aliens. And they, maybe they made it up. Could be a real part to a car. I have no idea. I just like to run over shit and just, just say, I blew the transaxle. Don't do it, please! Every now and then, you just need to double check and make sure that they're dead. There's not a whole lot else I can say about Red Faction that I didn't cover in part one of this review. This is simply one of the best video games ever made, and easily one of the best first-person shooters, for the simple reason that this game is just awesome. And by awesome, I mean a whole lot of things. It's fun. It's exciting. It's dramatic, adventurous, and thoroughly entertaining. And you can pick this game up dirt cheap now for the PlayStation 2. Ah, I see you've reached my submarine bay. Go ahead, Parker. Take a ride. Wait! I'm on your side! <laughs> and that's a drink. <laughs> that's a drink. <laughs> and uh, so is that. Anytime I kill an innocent civilian or one of Ultor's loyal employees, just take a swig. <laughs> Actually, I'm not sure if you should if you should drink for the guys that shoot back at you. That seems that seems somewhat unnecessary. I mean, but oh wait, there we go. That's a drink. Oh, this is a good one. Here we go. He can't hear you if you sneak up on him. Oh! And uh, another. One of the things I love about this game, aside from being able to just slaughter the entirety of the Ultor Corporation, is that it takes you from the mines of Mars all the way- Oh, that's a drink. It takes you from the mines of Mars all the way up through the corporate offices of Ultor where you slaughter everybody. Get out of here, you fool. Don't you see what happens to miners, Capek? Ah! Oh, that's- that's gotta hurt all over the place, all over Mars, and then you end up going into a space station, shooting your way through a space station, coming back down to Mars, going through the mines, and it just continues on. The game is a tremendous adventure. Shut up. And it goes to show you that next-gen graphics and uh, complicated multiplayer co-op missions aren't necessarily the ingredients to a great game. I love this part of the game. This totally reminds me of James Bond in On Her Majesty's Secret Service when he comes off the gondola up into Kojak's facility where all the girls are, you know, being trained to do the thing with the, uh, the virus or whatever and Bond goes sliding out of the gondola on the ice machine gunning everybody. Now that's a cure for thirst. Take a sip. It's a good thing these things come in six packs. We'd be out by now. Taken over from the security guard. 
They're killing every miner and guard they see. Wait for it. Wait for it. Come on. Just a little closer. Yeah. Leave no explosive pack behind. Over here! Help! Guards! Please! But this game gets everything right because it's a testosterone-fueled, adrenaline-pumping combination of Rambo meets Total Recall. Here in the second half of the game, we get my favorite weapon, which is the precision rifle, and you can just lay people to waste with this thing. Because it's got higher precision. Oh, and the rail driver, another one of my favorites. The simple pleasure of being able to shoot people through walls and still hear them scream as if the wall wasn't even there. Get this thing, which is like the M60, but I find that it doesn't work very well unless you're in a close, confined hallway because it shoots basically everything except whatever you're aiming at. EOS here. I found the antidote formula and got out of there. Glad to see you made it too. As this game progresses, it does get dramatically harder. The difficulty curve increases exponentially. The bad guys get tougher, the weapons get tougher, and if they shoot you with the railgun, you don't even you don't even get a second chance. You just die instantly. So it's a bit frustrating at times to round a corner when you've been doing pretty well and you haven't saved the game for a bit, and all of a sudden they just pick you off with one shot of the railgun. I mean, at least with the machine gun, you can take a few hits. You know, like that's that's realistic. It's like in Hot Shots Part 2 when they shoot him in the leg with a machine gun and he just goes, Ow! Well, you know, that's what I expect from a video game. Ah! And hey, I'm watching you. No cheating. That's a sip. That guy was not armed, not shooting back, loyal employee of Ultor. Follow the rules. It's just like if you were G.I. Joe going through the Cobra stronghold. Uh, you know, you obviously expect to blow away the Crimson Guard and the Cobra Troopers and the Hiss Tanks and whatnot, but... It's the administrative assistants, accountants, janitors. They're the ones that really hold that whole infrastructure together. If you get rid of all of them first, the, the rest of Cobra just falls apart. I don't care how much of an intergalactic destructive force you might be. If you can't get your paperwork filed or your toilets cleaned, you won't make it. I love the fact that the game takes you up into space to destroy the Ultor satellite or research lab or whatever this thing is. And we come back down to Mars. Did anyone else think Kawato was a Muppet? As you slaughter your way through Ultor's forces of dip dip mercenaries, You awake over there? They do eventually capture you, and then you have to kill them more. A sight when they brought you in, all blood and puke. Whichever of you is part. Unauthorized prisoner release in cell block nineteen. Reinforcements needed. Is there anything that a flamethrower can't do? And I'm gonna drink for shooting the guy in the toilet. Get 
Near the end of the game, you eventually meet up with your buddy Hendrix, and it's a long game. This isn't one of those short first-person shooters. First person. I have that rare ability to sound drunk even when I'm actually drinking a Coke. This is one that'll take you several hours to get through. Oh, well, look at this. Hendrix has finally come out of hiding. Man, I'm gonna have to owe you guys these drinks when I get to the safety of my own couch. I can't even knock this narration out drinking a soft drink right now. God, I'm mean. What's my final verdict? Obviously. Rush out immediately and buy Red Faction. Play it and then tell everybody else how awesome you think it is. Here comes some of mine. So cheers to all the people that made Red Faction. <laughs> Here's hoping for a new one on one of the next gen consoles that has the same amount of fun, drama, action, adventure, and humor as this one, not just better graphics. Maybe next time, we'll do the drinking game to the My Little Pony game on Sega Genesis. Drink every time you see a cute pony. Overrides to open the station's doors. Please, leave me alone! Hey, hey buddy, there's a cute pony on screen right now. What are you doing? You're not following the rules, mister. Ah!